Welcome on stage, Guillermo Garcia. Thank you very much, Guillermo. Well, I'm going to start my, my speech uh, in Spanish, a few seconds, and then turn to, to English again. Bueno, gracias a todos por venir. Eh, Disculpadme por mi inglés, es un poco desastroso. Voy a, a intentar ser lo más concreto y directo posible. Si tenéis cualquier tipo de duda, algo de lo que os cuente no os queda muy claro. Eh, podéis preguntarnos después, podéis, podéis ir a vernos a nuestro, a nuestro stand. Estamos en el stand número 83, ¿vale? Sin más, si os parece, empezamos. Well, good morning, everyone. I am very delighted to be here today, and I want to thank you for your presence. First of all, I would like to apologize for my English. I will try to talk as clear as possible. And uh, I want to start introducing myself. I am Guillermo Garcia, founder of Alumni Learning. We started the company two years ago, and uh, we are a multidisciplinary team with uh, where coexist developers, video producers, creatives, and all of them with a common goal. Today, I went on to tell you my vision of the future of education using big data. Our company's goal is to transform the way we learn. We want to change the learning culture of people and organizations. To achieve it, we are creating different solutions, but always supported by our innovative technologies, combined with the most shocking kind of content. The purpose of this speech is uh, to talk about the change and how this change is affecting the way we learn. Usually, we hear concepts as uh, digital transformation, big data, and Internet of Things, or e-commerce. However, sometimes we forget to talk about the people behind and uh, how these technologies uh, and, and trends are affecting them. Well, for us, the main challenge is the constant change. No matter what industry you analyze, everything is changing fast. Lifestyle is changing fast. Now, now everyone goes to the internet to watch their favorite videos or to listen to their music, something that seems unthinkable a few years ago. This problem affect people. It forced us to constantly update our knowledge, but I have some questions. Learning processes are prepared to support this level of change? Are the training needs the same for everyone? The knowledge is really accessible? Well, dancing for us is, is no. Well, if we focus on companies, the problem is, is compounded. Companies are seeing how the life cycle of their products are shortened. Before, the product could, uh, could have market life from eight to 10 years, but now the average product life is only two years. It is, this is forcing companies to introduce process of continuous innovation and recruit the, be the best talent to carry them out. But how can companies keep in constant innovation? How can they keep a team of 100 or 1,000 people always updated? I think that the same technological advances that put us in this situation are the ones that can help us to find the, the solution. Big data, virtual reality, or 2.0 platforms are technological trends and tools that allow us to respond to these new needs. Well, let's talk about technology. The, the advance in the technology has enabled a fast development in, in the education systems. Different platforms, marketplaces and new business models have been launched, and for this reason, 
the, the, the education is becoming cheaper and more accessible. Can you imagine a technology capable of, the, of detecting the latest market trends for companies to train their teams even before the new needs arise? Excuse me, perdona. Sorry. Well, nowadays you don't need to imagine it because with the big data, it's a reality. The big data is nothing more than a large accumulation of data where you can extract new information by analyzing it. Many companies have the data, but they don't analyze anything losing some vital information that will, be, will help them taking better decisions for their businesses. Did you know that <laughs> the companies enhance the, the sales development of its employers are 40% more innovative than other companies? Use big data allow us to create the solutions, using the data to obtain relevant information about the students. Another technological trend that will change the training is the artificial intelligence. Applying a combination of both, we can, uh, can transform the way we learn. We can create a new experience for the students. Let's show, let me show you a little example. Well, a person spent an average of eight hours per day at work. Depending on their position, most of this time is connected to the internet through some kind of devices. It doesn't matter if he's a commercial, engineer, lawyer, or receptionist. Most workers are connected in one way or another. Currently, these professionals receive courses through the corporate portals. These courses are selected by the uh, human resource department wasting all the data of the activity or interest of the students. There are many talented people doing the wrong things into the companies. As a result, the student is not interested in the training. And I have a question. What if we switch this situation and we let the student to take control? Well, in this new scenario, the companies has only to support the student. Companies must provide tools and guide employees to enhance their development, uh, and this is the new culture. But not only businesses could take advantage, advantage of this new culture. Uh, also, universities, schools, and um, business schools can complement their actual programs with tailored training environment for each student using big data. Well, I think that the solution is not to introduce one or another technology. The solution is thinking on the people. In my opinion, the first step is to, pr is to promote a cultural change on the professionals. Here in Spain, it's common to, to hear employees complain that the companies require them a uh, constant training. There is a, a push culture where the organization indicate and require its, its employers to make a specific training according to the criteria that determines the human resource department. But, however, in a global world, the solution is to move to a pull culture where the employees decide what, where, and how to learn according their needs, interests, or jobs, where the human resource department provides the tools and support the students respecting their freedom. If we combine big data, artificial intelligence, algorithms, cloud platforms, and multimedia content, we have a solution. The new tools of offline training should be able to collect and analyze custom data for each student to guide and show them which topics to learn day by day. The personalized learning, learning environment are a reality. The technology is ready. The challenge is the cultural change.
Our companies will need to offer a real solution to cell development and the continuous training of their employees. Not doing it will mean the loss of a golden opportunity to foster a culture of innovation needed to compete in today's environment. The vision of Human Resource Department is essential. The technology and the content are already available, so what are we waiting for? Well, we work every day on this issue, and we will be happy to show you our solution for this problem in our booth, number 83. I hope you enjoy. Sorry for my English, and thank you very much. Thank you very much, Guillermo. Pleasure having you here.